Ho hello there. I'm Bocha and a cute bear. Hey there. I'm Nimikung a cute bear. There might be many people who don't like it, but it goes really well with flavorful dishes like dumplings and kincha hot pot. <laughs> Isn't that near Chinese chives not nima? <laughs> oh, you see what I did there? Ah, uh, nimikong, you are funny. I wouldn't go that far, but I'll take the compliment. By the way, Teacher Bill Chen. On TV and such, there are programs where they have discussions and debates. And there are people raising their voices or speaking in an intimidating tone. Can I mimic those people? Um, well, that's not a good idea. Why not? Shall we then think this through from the basics? Yes, ma'am. In ordinary social life, it goes without saying. You shouldn't do things that infringe on the rights of others. That's true. Simply put, many of such actions are crimes. And criminals go through the process of arrest, trial and sometimes imprisonment and... At least for a time, they must be isolated from ordinary society. So people who do bad things get caught by the police. Yes, that's right. If a crime is happening right before our eyes, we need to think of responding by calling the police or taking similar actions first. Like what? For example, if you went into an acquaintance at the bank and are chatting, and an armed bank robber comes in. You wouldn't continue chatting, would you? That's true, true. <laughs> oh. To be precise, unless there are special circumstances like the robber forcing you to keep chatting. That would be a different story. Just like in the movies. Oh. Indeed. In short, all human actions can be broadly categorized into two. Respectable actions that respect the rights of others. And crimes. And when a crime is being committed, the basic response should be against the criminal. I understand. Now, to the main point. Understood. In discussions and debates, people who shout or speak strongly to intimidate others depending on the situation, can be committing crimes like assault or obstruction of business and forcing others to comply by shouting isn't a discussion or a debate. It's no different from a bad person intimidating and robbing passers-by. I see, because a discussion is about talking things over with everyone. Oh, uh, exactly. Some people say it's okay to speak strongly because it's a debate. Justifying criminal actions by saying it's a discussion doesn't make it acceptable. Debate is supposed to be a part of normal social life, where criminals shouldn't be. So, because it's a debate can't be an excuse for committing a crime. There are no exceptions to the rule that crimes should not be committed. I see. I understand now. Just to note. If you only look at the phrase criminal shouldn't be there, it might seem like I'm denying the rights of people who have committed crimes. But that's not it. As I said earlier, they should be isolated from normal society, at least temporarily. Understood. Also, this conversation prioritized simplicity, so... There are parts where I generalized about. When something becomes a crime in legal terms, so be cautious about that. Got it. I will be careful not to intimidate other people. That's right, you should be. Oh, we are bears. <laughs> oh.